There are many unique people online, but most of them are just not that interesting. You may follow some people online that say or do things that you personally find significant, but there's those few that interest you for entirely different reasons. Reasons that may be considered cruel given their situation, but their existence is like that of a car crash. You just can't look away. Lolcows, among the many unusual folks you find on the internet, are something of an enigma. People that overshare, overreact, and eventually overstay their welcome tend to be a shared laughing stock. Whether somebody's creating crudely made Sonic fanfiction comic books, or smoking crystal meth and wearing fur suits and diapers, there is a vast spectrum of weirdos to gawk at, regardless of the laughter is deemed as malicious. With every cow that fumbles their way into negative attention, there are key factors to determine whether or not they retain the onlookers. Everybody gets laughed at at some point in their life, but some people are incapable of escaping that problem due to things that ail them. It could all be caused by their upbringing or unchecked mental illness. Their title, Lol Cow, comes from the idea that these individuals can be milked for laughs. While there is some overlap between the negative traits of cows, not all of them have the exact same traits. I'm certainly no psychology professional and my armchair is the extent of my medical expertise, but I do have the ability to use Google, so that makes me just qualified enough to throw something together. In my classically trained opinion, there are many traits that can give somebody cow potential. Not all of these criteria need to be met in order to be classified as a potential cow. I'd say if you line up with at least four of the following traits, you're cow material. If you find yourself lining up with these too much, just ignore them and stay away from the internet. You'll probably be fine. The criteria is as follows. Lack of self-awareness. Cows are often unable to see that they're acting strange or that they're in the wrong. They don't analyze their own behavior and fail to assess their situation accordingly. Inability to learn from mistakes. Most cows seem to think that they can keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting a new outcome each time. This always ends badly and they seem to not take any lessons away from their problems. Oversharing information. Most, if not all, cows tend to have next to no regard for their own personal security, treating the internet as a large diary for their peculiar behavior. They often have an unhealthy attachment to the internet and will be devastated if they feel it is being threatened. Sexual deviancy. This can entail a variety of paraphilias, including zoos and PDFs. They tend to have bad impulse control when it comes to anything intimate. This is usually coupled with being naive about sex and they are desperate to experience intercourse. Intellectual disabilities. Many cows were born with deformities or intellectual growth issues. This can range from basic functioning all the way to socialization, like the autism spectrum. Unreliable narration slash compulsive lying. Cows often misrepresent facts about themselves or their doings. This is usually to cover up their tracks for something that they are embarrassed about. Reactivity. They always respond because they can't handle dissenting opinions. This ties very closely with their impulse control, as they can't seem to understand that the internet shouldn't be taken that seriously. This is the weakness that makes them easily milked for laughs. Substance abuse. Many cows have struggled with alcohol or drug abuse. Some of them are so afflicted by this that they're barely functional. The severity of these traits also varies from cow to cow. While one may have a debilitating addiction to alcohol, another may be able to handle their drinks like a responsible adult who smells good. Before we break these down, I do want to specify something for clueless folks or dumb people. I do not endorse the harassment of law cows. Some of them are more deserving of ridicule than others, but they all ultimately make themselves a target by the way they continue to carry themselves. While I find a lot of them to be interesting and a thrill to watch, I can't say I agree with all the lengths people go through just to get a laugh at the expense of another person. That being said, it's also definitely Kino, so it is what it is. First one up is lack of self-awareness. Most cows have an inability to perceive how people see them. This often creates dire situations for them as they could not ever fathom why people would ever find them to be unusual. They fail to identify the key patterns in their behavior that caused them so much grief. An obvious example of this is Chris Chan, but he's more or less just the archetype model for how a cow is at this point, is he not? He spent a lot of time drawing mediocre child quality comics filled with hateful rhetoric and nonsensical ego stroking plot points about fan characters for video games made for children. It's okay to be interested in comic books as an adult, and it's fine to make your own as a hobby or as a job. But his laughable lack of self-awareness on top of his lack of quality control was inevitably going to make people notice him. Plus, he was setting up some signs to attract women to take his virginity, so I'd say he really doesn't have any self-awareness. Chris, at least in the beginning, saw himself as normal. This changed when his lack of self-awareness was brutalized by the unexpected direction his life would take, believing he's some kind of powerful god figure who brings fictional characters to life, blissfully unaware of how batshit insane that sounds. Another prime example is King Cobra JFS. He thinks he's a tough guy who gets unlimited amounts of cooch and smells really, really good. He's also the sexiest goth in Casper, Wyoming. 
Unfortunately for him, none of these things are true. He doesn't seem to fit in any sort of goth apparel conventions, which is funny considering he can't even conform to nonconformity. He definitely doesn't work out, let alone have any decent musculature worth noting, but he'll still flex his muscles for the camera and talk about how he can handle his own. Oh, and he smells absolutely putrid because he won't bathe. All of this obviously has prevented him from achieving sexual relations with a woman in many years. He'll fabricate stories about how girls tell him he's so hot and that he smells good and whatever else, but whenever he turns on his camera, those girls are nowhere to be found. It's almost like he's lacking the self-awareness necessary to see that his lies aren't even remotely plausible. There are a variety of reasons as to why someone may lack self-awareness. For many cows, it's because they have built their own reality and believe that the world works in a very specific way. However, they're blind to how things really are. This likely manifests from a fear of change, as they typically are petrified at the thought of having their own reality shattered. There is a level of comfort for them as long as they can exist in their own little world, as bizarre as it may be, and anything outside of that just isn't important to them. This wouldn't be so much of a problem if cows weren't doing unusual things that would attract unwanted attention, like microwaving diapers or drunkenly stomping their head into the ground during an all-caps rage. Next up, most cows have an inability to learn from their mistakes. Most people have decent impulse control. They're capable of controlling their impulses, assessing situations and weighing their consequences, allowing them to make structured and responsible decisions. This mindset usually comes from having made previous mistakes and learning from them, as is part of life. Cows, on the other hand, do not adhere to this. They will often repeat the same mistakes over and over, expecting different results, ultimately only to be disappointed in the end. Unfortunately, Chris is yet again a great example of this. He felt he needed to overload people with information as a means to seem trustworthy, and also as a response to when people said mean things about him on the internet, because he needed to correct a bunch of random people online who he knew nothing about. When the objectionable information continued to circulate the web, he threw a temper tantrum in front of his PlayStation 3's camera and demanded that the trolls listen to his pleas, or rather his demands. Tying closely to his lack of self-awareness, he should have considered that letting his anger get the best of him would only bring more pain. But then again, that means he'd have to utilize basic comprehension skills. Wings of Redemption is also a shining example of this as well, as he continues to do the same thing that brings him so much trouble. He sits on his ass, plays video games poorly on camera, and screeches when people inconvenience him. All jobs are stressful, and I'm sure playing video games to entertain people has its own set of complications, but he really shouldn't take video games so seriously. He is rigidly stuck with whatever AAA game is currently popular, namely competitive stuff like Call of Duty and Rainbow Six Siege. These games irritate him, and his advantageous observers tend to use them to catch his ire. Since these games are competitive, people will join his lobbies and rock his shit. He plays well from time to time, but his outbursts of anger when he's not doing so just overshadow the calmer moments. Instead of rolling with the punches and experimenting with his platform, he prefers to lash out at his viewers and cry on stream, constantly lowering everyone's opinion of him. But at least he's got his banquet TV dinners. They understand him. Look here! Look here! Look, listen! Appearing offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. Fuck! Alright guys, um, I give up. I don't know when I'll stream again. I really need to make this fucking money. I, I really wanted to get this fucking surgery, man. I wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> An inability to learn from mistakes can have many causes, but in cows, I've noticed it seems to stem from excessive narcissism. It can be hard for people to understand that they aren't the center of the universe. This concept is harder to explain to a child than it is to an adult, but some select few really do expect things to go their way. They are content with doing things their way because they're always right and everybody else is wrong, despite that being historically inaccurate. These people may suffer from Narcissistic Personality Disorder. According to the DSM-5, Narcissistic Personality Disorder is a pervasive pattern of grandiosity in fantasy or behavior, need for admiration, and lack of empathy, beginning by early adulthood and present in a variety of contexts. These include a grandiose sense of self-importance, preoccupation with fantasies of unlimited success or power alongside other sought-after feelings, belief that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by similarly special people, a requirement for excessive admiration, and a sense of entitlement. Moving forward, another common trait among cows is their oversharing of information. This again ties to impulse control. It is not uncommon for people to treat the internet as a place for them to dump a plethora of information about themselves, though they really shouldn't be doing that these days. Many people, yourself most likely included, have at least one social media account where they share their stupid and baseless opinions with the World Wide Web. Cows, of course, are no exception. I mean, how else would they get found? 
These people treat the internet as if it were some kind of safe, locked up, and airtight diary for their innermost thoughts, including the bad ones. These types often have an unhealthy attachment to the internet. Most cows are socially awkward and have issues forming long-lasting bonds with people for a variety of reasons. And the need for socialization can be overwhelming if you spend most of your time alone. As such, the internet is their next best option when it comes to satisfying this need, considering they won't solve it like most people would. And of course, surprise surprise, Chris is yet another damn example in this video. For example, at one point he opted to make a house tour for his squalid hovel. He proceeded to trip over piles upon piles of useless junk and probably even slipped on some cat shit, showcasing the disgusting living conditions that the Chandlers had been residing in. This caught up with him when people started laughing at him and his family for how they lived, and of course the video got spread around. His father, Bob, caught wind of this and threatened to cut down the internet if Chris didn't do something about it, because he was scared that the government would force them to move out of their house. A simple solution probably would have been just to clean the place, but hey, whatever works, right? Pamperchu is also a prime example of this. While he may be an intelligent guy when it comes to electronics and other fun gizmos, or at least he was before the meth turned his brain into bubbling goo, he does share his dark side quite often, but let's be real, you can't avoid seeing that with him. He has recorded himself trying to clean used adult diapers for later use, alongside electrocuting them with an exposed copper wire, or microwaving them to supposedly kill the bacteria, but I'm willing to bet it just doesn't work out that way. He didn't have the sense to think that maybe people would be grossed out by him heating up some, uh, intimate shit and piss covered bottom apparel. This seems to stem from ignorance to fact, like how Pams can't wrap his head around the health risks of microwaving soiled diapers. Everybody dreams of being well liked and respected at one point. Hell, some people even want to be a household name, but nobody really wants to be the source of other people's amusement for the wrong reasons. Or at least normal people wouldn't want it that way. Can't say that for cows though, I'm sure some of them likely enjoy it. This could be a sign of history personality disorder. The DSM-5 states that it's a pervasive pattern of excessive emotionality and attention-seeking, beginning by early adulthood and present in a variety of contexts. The individual must meet five or more of the following criteria. Discomfort in situations where he or she is not the center of attention. Interactions with others are often inappropriate sexual or provocative behavior. Rapidly shifting and shallow expressions of emotions. Consistent use of physical appearance to draw attention. A style of speech that is excessively impressionistic and lacking in detail. Self-dramatization, theatricality, and exaggerated expression of emotion. Being suggestible, such as being easily influenced by others. Considering relationships to be more intimate than they are in reality. And now I've got to break down their allegiance to sexual deviancy, which is easily the least fun to talk about when it comes to these folks. Unfortunately, most cows are little, weaselly, horny bastards who can't control themselves in any sexual situation if they can even manage to land themselves in one. Most large cows, but not every single one, usually acts in dubious ways. This again ties back to a lack of social interaction. As such, some people get desperate to experience intimacy and will make a huge ass out of themselves for love, or coochie at the bare minimum. King Cobra tends to talk about women and sex a lot. Pretty much every time he opens his mouth, he ends up spewing a bunch of sexually frustrated gibberish. He fantasizes about having a consenting, of-age, cisgendered, non-related woman who just happens to be alive, to have and to hold. Most of his preferences are understandable. Like, I totally get that he wants to be with somebody who's alive because that's pretty important in a relationship, and that he doesn't hurt anybody. But it is concerning that he mentioned that they need to be adults, let alone even having to state that they need to be alive. Those things should be a given, because no well-adjusted person would even engage in such vile acts. Schmorky also falls under this criteria. There were plenty of roleplay chat logs involving him that centered on dirty diapers and babysitting, leading to roleplay scenarios involving inappropriate behavior with younger characters. Sure, it's all pretend, but this is something that a normal, well-adjusted person would never engage in. This is most definitely tied to some kind of mental illness. Most, if not all forms of sexual deviancy would fall under the umbrella of paraphilic disorders. Paraphilias are persistent sexual interest, fantasies, or behaviors involving people, activities, objects, places, or situations that aren't typical. YouTube is pretty strict about what I can and can't say, so I'll keep it simple. This is easily the most unforgivable trait to fall under. Next up is intellectual disabilities. These come in all kinds of different varieties, but they all orbit two specific areas. Intellectual functioning, like learning for presented information, processing problems and solving them, etc., to adaptive functioning, such as basic communication and day-to-day -day tasks. 
The most common intellectual disability that can be observed in cows is autism. The autism spectrum is, well, a spectrum. It isn't so much of how autistic someone is, rather than how many autistic traits does this person have. And unfortunately, we see a lot of people who are obviously very autistic and unaware that their behavior is considered peculiar. Many fandoms, especially those for Sonic the Hedgehog, have a significant body of autistic fans. While some are self-aware enough to keep their behavioral quirks in check as much as possible, there are others who revel in their interest, perhaps to an unhealthy degree. These people are often very reactionary and will respond to interested parties that poke them with a stick. Every count that I have mentioned so far, perhaps excluding Wings of Redemption, is autistic. Some cases are more severe than others. With Chris, you can see that he loves Sonic and Pokemon and drew comics into adulthood before he started slinging meat towards his own mother. Cobra is incredibly socially awkward and unable to grasp simple social concepts, like what is acceptable to say to women. Pamperchu seems oblivious as to why people find his fascination with poopy diapers to be so strange. I think it's safe to say that people who are autistic often get targeted the most. This most likely stems from their lack of self-awareness and the reactionary behavior, but it is worth mentioning that there are people out there that do attempt to single these people out. While I'm not decrying what people are doing for their simple laughs online, as that'd make me a hypocrite given the type of content I create, I think it'd be really dishonest to me to act like this is all just happenstance and none of it is in any capacity some kind of targeted harassment. And oh boy, on to another one. Now we get to talk about their unreliable narration. Most cows aren't exactly honest with the people they talk to. This can vary in intensity, ranging from minor inoffensive fibs to grandiose stories of S-Class bullshit. This tends to damage the credibility of a cow when they're trying to convince someone of something, usually not to laugh at them, but their pleas rarely ever work, if ever. There's a variety of reasons why someone may lie. It could be that they're embarrassed by something, or they're attempting to obfuscate the truth to protect their character. It could be due to autism like we just discussed, or it very well may be tied to another significant ailment. Every single cow on this list is guilty of lying. The two most prevalent in my opinion are Wings and Cobes. Wings will just let his mouth overload his ass and then lie about it. He has next to no filter when he's pressed, and routinely suffers from verbal diarrhea due to his ignorance. He'll do one thing, say another, and demand something totally different from his viewers. You know, when he's not crying about being killed killed by enemy players in Siege. He's not a bad guy for kicking his dog's cage and lying about it. It's all on his haters, pimp. Cobra lies constantly about every single thing in his life. His most famous lie has to be that women are basically throwing themselves at him despite him not having sex in many years. He'll frequently tell stories during his drunken disaster streams about how girls in his town tell him he smells good because of his fervorous allegiance to tactical soap. Judging by how little he actually bathes and his habits in general, it's safe to say he probably smells like shit. A possible diagnosis for this may be antisocial personality disorder, which the DSM-5 classifies as a pervasive pattern of disregard for and violation of the rights of others, occurring since age 15 years, as indicated by three or more of the following. A failure to conform to social norms with respect to law behaviors, as indicated by repeatedly performing acts that are grounds for arrest. Deceitful, as indicated by repeated lying, use of aliases, or conning others for personal profit or pleasure. Impulsivity and failure to plan ahead. Irritability and aggressiveness, such as frequent physical fights or assault. Reckless disregard for safety of self or others. Consistent irresponsibility, as indicated by repeated failure to sustain consistent work behavior and honor financial obligations. Lack of remorse, such as being indifferent or rationalizing having hurt, mistreated, or stolen from another. Now granted, a lot of these examples are extreme, the unreliability of cows to provide accurate narration could lend credence to this. This one is a major factor that usually applies to every single cow. They all tend to be reactive. Cows absolutely despise being toyed with, but such is the case for basically everybody online. Nobody likes hearing negative things said about them, and odds are that they'll respond negatively if they choose to even do anything. But cows tend to take this to a whole new level. They will do whatever they can to convince you that your opinion of them is dead wrong. The reactivity we can observe in most cows is almost identical across the board. These individuals respond negatively to negative stimuli, expecting their enemies and any other opposition to just shut up and disappear. They attempt to achieve this via extensive text-based arguments or pleas for mercy. But of course, this isn't always the case. Most cows are active on some social media platform, utilizing whatever tool set they have at their disposal. This includes video sharing and live streams. Two people I keep bringing up tick the boxes here yet again, Chris and Cobes. Chris, time and time and time again, without fail, repeatedly, would respond to the advances of his trolls, although his reactions were quite varied over the years. Things started off simple, with Chris attempting to plead for some breathing room in the beginning, leading to Chris recording himself throwing a temper tantrum at his bedroom. The thought process behind this is mind-boggling to say the least. Cobes, on the other hand, is mostly a broken record. 
For years now, he sat in front of a webcam and demanded the respect of his trolls. Only recently has his ego and reactivity meshed so perfectly, as his videos and streams are just verbal loops of how much he owns his trolls and how pathetic they are, and how he smells good. Have I mentioned that he smells good in this video yet? Because he does. Anyway, he has asked people many times over to just leave him alone, and of course, that doesn't work, so he gets angry and taunts them. Every time he does this, he gets a little more aggressive, and the trolls have to put him back in his place. Or sometimes his dad has to, but clinterventions are pretty rare these days. Much like what we discussed regarding oversharing information, this appears to be a sign of histrionic personality disorder. This disorder is arguably the most persistent among all possible afflictions we've covered. Lastly, we have another kind of dark one, substance abuse. Substance abuse is only applicable to very specific cows. Much like everything else in their life, they seem to have very little control over consumption of certain substances or materials, or at least they claim they can't stop themselves. This can range from alcohol, to drugs, to food, to any other material that can be smoked, snorted, ingested, or injected. Substance abuse can be seen far less in cows than one may expect. The most common examples tend to lean more into the horror cow spectrum, but there are a few outliers. Cobes, for obvious reasons, can't stop abusing substances for the damn life of him. He started off pretty small by enjoying the occasional alcoholic beverage and a good old-fashioned cigarette or cigar, but his taste had become more aggressive over time. He started taking in more booze, mixing energy drinks with various types of liquor, smoking even more tobacco while also introducing himself to marijuana and spice. Nowadays, his newest squeeze is drinking while huffing computer duster, as if his brain wasn't already melting fast enough. His drinking has totally destroyed his life, eradicating his ability to do anything at all, which obviously prevents him from getting a job or having friends. Well, that, and the trolls would probably fuck with those things too. Another prime example of substance abuse is Pamper Chew. He has a little hankering for methamphetamine. It happens. He tends to consult his favorite crank supplier and takes apart any piece of technology he can find, whether it be TV sets, microwaves, or computers. His behavior has gotten more erratic, which is saying something because he was already kind of bonkers. The drugs have significantly damaged his mental acuity and have also given him a sense of bravado. He no longer fears being labeled as a predator, seemingly unafraid of the social repercussions for such actions. Some long-term effects of meth are, but certainly aren't limited to, dental problems, constant scratching of one's skin, which leads to sores and scabs, paranoia and anxiety, brain damage such as memory loss and impaired motor function, and of course, violent behavior. This can obviously stem from a variety of possible disorders, but in general, this behavior falls under substance use disorder. With a name like that, how could I possibly have come to this conclusion, right? This disorder is quite broad, as you can be afflicted by SUD because you abuse caffeine. Since caffeine is a drug, it still applies. But this is typically reserved for harsher substances. SUD can cover a variety of different disorders, so there is no way to label a cow properly without factoring in their vice of choice. When breaking down substance abuse disorders, the DSM-5 states, the essential feature of substance use disorder is a cluster of cognitive, behavioral, and physiological symptoms indicating that the individual continues using the substance despite significant substance-related problems. But all in all, I'm just a jerk-off with a microphone and a keyboard. I am in no way fit to label or diagnose anybody with these disorders. I merely just did some research and compiled what I found, presenting my thoughts and research to you. I hope, if nothing else, this video gives you a better understanding of these people. At no point do I want to inject morals into this type of content, but I do think understanding the inner workings of it is kind of interesting, if nothing else. Consider it food for thought, I guess. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you like what I do, leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. If you want to support me in a more personal way, you can check out the Patreon link and the Teespring link in the description. I've got more content coming down the pipeline. But until then, I'll see you degenerates next time.